feel better to nail this presentation. We've got to get the Colgate account. He's been prepping it for two months. I'm sure he's going to be fine. All right, let's get to this. I've already had two of these this morning. I have three more Hi, sorry. Yeah, hey. There's only so many. How you doing? Me thinking how about some millennials and Colgate. <laughs> <laughs> So nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, without further ado, should we get started? Let's do it. All right. How Colgate can improve its market share with millennials. Sasha Obama, <laughs> senior prom 2019. As you can see, she's grown up and gorgeous. When I first saw this picture, I asked myself, now, who's that model standing with Barack, Michelle, and Malia? <laughs> hey, Phil, what does this have to do with Colgate? I, I want to see where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> Boss, just trust me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, Sasha Obama, now a legal 18. <laughs> Stunning. And seemingly out of nowhere. Look, one minute she's a child 7.5, I think we can all agree. <laughs> <laughs> like to be that guy, huh? Uh, but the million dollar question is, when and how did Sasha Obama become such a stone cold hottie? <laughs> Let's see. I think what differentiates her from most child stars is that she's not a child star. Is that most of them enter the public eye already adorable and just continue along that trajectory? I call this the Neville Longbottom slash Haley Joel paradox. <laughs> Matthew Lewis, a.k.a. <laughs> Harry Potter's Neville Longbottom, started out as a baby-faced boy wizard and became a freaking ripped underwear model. <laughs> you got it. Whereas Haley <laughs> sense, started out cute and became this. <laughs> he's not ugly, he's just schlubby. Hey, 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 why don't we show you how our agency can uh, maximize your profits, huh? Fine, yeah. yeah. Hey, Phil, you want to cut those slides that I sent you there, buddy? Yeah, with pleasure. All right. So as you can see, Colgate is steadily maximizing their profits. But uh, with our new social media plan, uh, Phil, where are my numbers? Oh, sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> where are my numbers? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, do we know how Sasha Obama brushes her teeth? We don't. <laughs> it all makes sense once I get to the end. Uh, Alright, so can I hop back in? Alright, so fun fact, Sasha Obama and I both were worried partners on Maybe we were both soulmates. <laughs> now, how did I only now notice this exquisite Nubian princess? <laughs> Interesting question. <laughs> Which I answered in slide 14, if you guys don't mind me skipping ahead. And, all right. Yeah, skip. Let's just skip. Does this make me a pedophile? I wrestled a long time with this. It really gave me some trouble. But I did some soul searching and I decided I do not want to have sex with Sasha Obama. I wish to create a life-size sex doll of Sasha Obama, which I can bring with me home to introduce to my parents and take with me to my high school reunion. Phil, what the fuck does this have to do with Colgate? Nothing. I lied. I have a crush on Sasha Obama, and I'm not going to hide it anymore. Don't go, don't go, don't go! Please, please! Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs>